come back to the Midwest Sports Show. Yay. And uh, let's get a proper fade out. I'm. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. All right. So, yeah, my name is uh, Chris Stotts, and uh, I got Gene Steichen. And I'm going to dedicate this here as well to the Cubs scoring. Uh, uh, we're going to bring them good luck. The Brewers are going to. Oh, Brewers and the Cubs both going on at the same time. But this inning. Cubs are going to Well, score. the magic of live television, everyone, yeah. and a recorded podcast. I know. The Cubs are losing right now, but by the time this is over, the Cubs will be in the lead. That's <laughs> what I say. There you go. We got a lo- regular uh, Nostradamus here. Yeah. 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 Cubs are playing. They're, uh, hey, listen. They're no joke at home. They're, well, they're, they're trouble on the road. We are, we are going to discuss the, uh, the mm. Brewers and the Cubs series in, Ol- yeah. uh, I'm sorry, in Wrigley Field. They'll be at the top of the show, so okay. all you uh, Cubs fans Yay, are going to be able to uh, gloat uh, because they uh, whoop the Brewers' ass. But, uh, again, getting getting ahead of, our, okay. getting ahead of ourselves. Right. Uh, we'll talk about that series. Uh, all you Cubs fans will enjoy the schadenfreude. Mm-hmm. Schadenfreude. Freud? Freud. Whatever. The, uh, the, the enjoyment of the pain of others uh, when we talk about this game. And, Gene, you know, I, you know, yes. I, I, I talk a big game. Yes. About the Brewers and the right. Cubs and all. I'm sorry, yeah. about the, the Brewers and the Packers and all that stuff. Right. I, I always talk about when they win and all that stuff. I, I think the people want to see me, he, want to hear me when they lose. Oh, okay. Right? Go ahead. So the, we'll, we'll do that. I'm not going to oh. deny anyone that. Mm-hmm. We'll get to that in one moment. All right. And then uh, we'll talk about uh, the trades. A lot mm. of trades going on, although not as much as you would think. Yeah. So uh, some big ones, though, which we will discuss Cubs made a bad trade. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, well, which one, Gene? There's been a couple bad trades the last well, that, uh, what? <laughs> I'll tell you the later. Last I'll wait years. for a trade. That's, uh, uh, we'll one about- that they instantly regret, I'm telling you. That happened right. last week. All right. And then uh, we will <clears throat> also, uh, we got NFL news, Gene. The NFL is cl- fast upon us. Yeah. We get about, what, when's the uh, first uh, NFL? September game? 5th. Thursday right, night. So we are literally 30 days, maybe 31 days. September 5th, days. Thursday, uh, in Chicago. Please, pr- ticket prices drop so I can go. <laughs> They're still at 400 yeah. You heard of uh, pray, pray for the Kits? Yeah. P- pray for the prices to go down. Oh, my God. Uh, in this case. Uh, well, Gene doesn't have any kids, so that's... It's going to these test are his my, babies. Uh, yeah. I really want to go, but this one's going to test me. All right. So we'll, uh, we'll talk about uh, NFL news, including uh, a lot of going on. And including the return of uh, some of my favorite segments, uh, Drew McGarry's Your mm. Favorite Team Sucks. I saw that. Which uh, he basically goes through every single NFL team from right, worst record right. to first mm-hmm. and uh, pretty much dismantles each team, tells them why. They, a little bit of a preview. Right. Although I don't know how much of a August uh, 1st preview is going to matter in, uh, in 20 days when uh, everyone gets cut. And other people have their Achilles tendons ruptured. Mm-hmm. Um, well, the Lions were the latest victims of this article. Uh, of but these they articles. truly, you don't even have to exaggerate. You can uh, mm, not good. And uh, the the, the, the parts that I love are the uh, the fan letters or the letters by the fans, right? Uh, talking about like how much their teams suck. So we uh, will talk about the Lions today, and we'll read some of the choice letters. For okay. you all, these are uh, this is free content from Drew McGarry. We do appreciate. It. Not, by the way, not that he wrote these letters. Right. I, I mean, I'm sure he wrote some of these letters. Oh, okay. So it's not like this guy, you know, put right. a lot of time. He just basically copied and pasted from his email. Come I mean, come you on. You don't totally trust him. So Drew, just like you're stealing off other people's content that they sent to you, we're gonna steal off your content. This is coming back to you, Drew. Yeah. This all comes circle. All right. Full circle. And by the way, Drew, if you ever want to be on the show, you're more than welcome. To be yeah. on the show, I don't know why we're saying this on the show. He's not like he <laughs> listens to it. I should probably uh, DM him <laughs> on Twitter. Yeah, uh, but that's for another yeah. uh, show. All right, he's a Vikings fan, by the way, so he actually might be yeah. uh, down for that. All right, Gene. Okay, we're gonna start off with the Pummelting. Uh, the Pummelton. Pum- yeah, Pummelton. That was a good Pummel- series. Pum- right, pummeling, right. pummeling, and Ryan Braun in 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 right. uh, in, in Wrigley Wrigley Center, Wrigley. What is it called? Wrigley Wrigley Field. Well, I know that, but what Wrigley Wrigley Wrigleyville? Right? The pummeling in Wrigleyville. Wrigleyville. I'm gonna grab my water really quick. Gene. Oh, okay. Yeah, give me your, your your thoughts on the whole thing. All right. Well, maybe after this last road trip, I'm I'm thinking 
Gee whiz, the Cubs are terrible. They're right, just so not let's... playing very well, and I hate to be a bad fan. But the Brewers may be even playing let's, uh, as bad. Let's review. You guys played St. Louis, right, uh, yeah. the previous week? And I think uh, we went 2-1, right? Nine, nine, uh, nine-game road trip. They went 3-6. and six. Cubs haven't won a series on the road since May 15th, which is the longest in baseball. And that's including the Royals and the Orioles. And you guys are, like, fighting for first place. Yeah, not, that's amazing. Not exactly. They haven't a, won a uh, series on the road in uh, June, July. Yeah, almost three months. That's, yeah, yeah. Hard to win a World Series when you can't win on the road. I, uh, well, uh, yeah, anyway. I don't think they're going to have home field advantage in the World no, Series. No, they scene, won't. So, they won't. Uh, if they make the playoffs, yeah, they got to go on the road the whole time. Gotcha. But now I have confidence. You're, you're getting ahead of yourself. The playoffs. Oh, okay. Pl- All right. Pl- playoffs. But they were good. They playoffs? came home and they've been good at home, and their fans fired them up. They, and then Ryan Braun, he's a guy you kind of have to worry about at Wrigley. But hey, he had yeah. a home run. Didn't he hit a home run? I think so. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. The first that bad, I think, right? That Could he have had. been. Yeah. And, uh, Gene, you know, these uh, other series where uh, Milwaukee does well against the Chicago Cubs, I like to go through each game individually and okay. discuss it. Mm-hmm. Not today, Gene. All right, that's fine. The Cubs are but good, though. They're pitching. Do you know their pitchers? The Cubs pitchers haven't walked a batter in six straight starts. I did, which, I did hear that. Yeah, which hasn't happened to the Cubs since 1904. Does that, cool, does that, like that. include, like, bean balls? Be- mm, beaning the balls? I don't think. The Cubs don't do that. Did they're they, not they're Did not they hit someone like the other that. day? I don't, I don't know. think so. But uh, it, 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 If it was, it was totally accidental. All right, so let's uh, set up the uh, Brewers series. They actually went to Oakland, yeah. California. Oakland's uh, tough. To play the uh, Oakland A's, I believe there's their team. And, um, yeah, tough uh, tough team. And, by the way, they're playing this god-awful uh, stadium. They, they still oh got the Coliseum. Gosh. Yeah. What's going on with this? They can't figure it out. Look at all the money in the Bay Area, and they can't figure out a stadium. Huh. How's that possible? Well, they should play at uh, Levi Field or I don't something think like they, that, right? They, yeah, that's 40 miles Well. Down. They um, did, and did, by the way, did you? Because it's not called the Coliseum. It's not called Candlestick anymore. Because that was Candle. No, it's the no, Coliseum. No, no, right? Candlestick. They tore down. That's right. where the okay. Niners. So it was the Coliseum. Yeah, the Coliseum. I, I don't think they can even have no. a corporate sponsor. Yeah. For their field anymore. That's how bad it is. Like no one wants to put their uh, name depressing. on the stadium. Yeah, and, and uh, the, so they're calling it Ricky Henderson Field. I saw that. Yeah, did you know that? Play, yeah, I, no, I saw it. Some, I, I, I happened to see the A's when they're playing St. Louis, and it said Ricky Henderson Field. They go, "What the hell have they done? What you can't be, uh, be careful what you do there." I just said home run. Yeah, I was. Uh, I'm like, did Ricky Henderson die? Is he dead? I, I, no, I think he's no. Still, he's still he's yeah. still kicking. He's still st- stealing so. bases in the right, Pacific right. League. Yeah, or something like that. But uh, hey, listen, Ricky Henderson Kate might Codley. be. Might be the uh, greatest baseball player of all time, and I mean all time. Mm, okay. Right? Just a pure baseball player. I mean, he yeah. leads. He, yeah. he has the most, like, leadoff home runs. Right. Most steals. Yeah. I mean, probably a ton of walks. Just a pure baseball player, yeah. right? pretty good. So, uh, yeah, maybe. But, like, uh, I, mean, wh- wh- I mean, what's next? Jose Canseco field? <laughs> How about Ozzy Canseco? Huh? How about that? Yeah. By the way, Gene. I- what that 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 season that Jose Canseco got forty home runs and four forty stolen bases like th- is that the weirdest thing ever? Yeah, like that guy couldn't even sniff uh, five stolen bases for the rest. I mean, what? I mean, I know he got all roided up, so that probably affects his uh, legs and all that stuff. But how do you steal forty bases and and hit a forty home runs? I mean, what's mm. going on? I don't know. I don't know. I, I it yeah got me. They, they got it figured out because they got a good team. Although well, Chris this, Davis, former all, Brewer, he, he destroyed us. Yeah, and and but the thing is, Billy Bean's been great, uh, Moneyball, but they've never won, never won under Billy Bean. So yeah, and uh, you say winning makes the fans come. Uh, there weren't a lot of fans in that stadium, no, Gene. It's depressing. I it's will, a depressing place. I will oh. say the, the the kind of the neon green that the A's have for the yeah. uniforms. I like it though. I like, oh, their I uniforms like, are awesome. Yeah, I like the but, colors. But they're, they're they're it's almost as depressing as when the Expos played at Olympic Stadium, that big cavernous yeah. stadium that echoed with that one fan. It was not good. Yeah, well, at least the compared. fans in Oakland uh, speak English. Um, at least mm-hmm. I'm guessing most of them yeah. maybe do. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, so uh, yeah, I think the Brewers like lost two out of the three games, like in the ninth inning or something like that. Mm. Or they, yeah, they uh, uh, Hater gave up some home runs. Yeah, I uh, Jeremy Jeffries right. gave up I some saw home that, runs. Actually, mm-hmm. not good, not good, Gene. 
No, nope. not good. All right, so all that's leading into the uh, the brawl at uh, Wrigleyville. Mm. Uh, what do you call it? Wrigleyville. The, hey, that's where uh, Joe Madden's new restaurant is. It's in Wrigleyville. Oh yeah. Yeah. Does it take you uh, four hours and four waiters to get your meal? <laughs> I no no I, no no. no. <laughs> give me give me the left hander waiter. Give me the left hander. No 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 no. no. Give me the right hander. Okay. Good guy. Hey, this is his last go around with the Cubs, probably. So let's be nice. To, well, you don't have to, but I should all be right. nice to him. Um, all right. So uh, yeah, I guess we can go kind of go through the games a little bit. But I mean, for the most part, you guys just destroyed the. Yeah. I mean, they're they're all kind of close games. Cubs have been good. They just then, keep losing. I think it kind of took uh, some of the players, like uh, some of the uh, relief players, to uh, um, the relief pitchers, I should say. They kind of uh, destroyed everything. Uh, for the Brewers, so uh, not great. And uh, sorry, I'm just trying to not avoid this uh, Pirates score right now. Oh, uh, yeah. on my oh. app. Okay. So it's three zero right now. Yeah. Damn, it seems like the Brewers are actually kicking ass right now, and I got to do talk this stup- about an empty stadium. Stupid That's podcast. Right. All right, right. So uh, Cubs win two uh, six on Friday. By the way, Friday game yeah. at eleven a.m. Yeah. Uh, uh kind of like it, kind of don't like it, but uh, they still can't play night games on Friday or Saturday night. Still, they still can't. Nope. Jeez. They they have to get if it's say it's a national game, they have to get permission from the the neighborhood. But yeah, they're still playing Friday day games and Saturday <laughs> from day the games. neighborhood. And so, yeah, the neighborhood association. They I, when they got lights in '88, they could only play 18 home games. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy Blair, uh, Cubs have been good, but la- they just keep losing. Should be on a shirt. Mm. Yeah, let's put that on it. LOL. Yeah, let's put that on a shirt. Cubs have been good, but they just keep losing. Should yeah, be on a shirt. Yeah, they're bullpen. They're st- oh, it's so sad. Right. I can't, every well, except time for they, they lose, play the Brewers. Yeah, but when they lose, and I think, I can't. That's it. I'm out. I can't emotionally take it anymore. Then the next day, I wake up and I go, all right, I'm back. I'm back. And then yep. it, it, something goes wrong again. All right. So, yeah. uh, again, uh, the Cubs uh, win on Saturday, 1-4. to four. Again, pretty close game. Was that Katana that pitched? Yes. Yeah. So, or was that Sunday? I don't know. So Who knows? You Darvish pitched Sunday. Oh, yeah. You Darvish. You know, I look at this guy. I'm like, oh, easy win. He's awesome. This is going to be easier than a uh, shrimp tempore roll. Mm, but uh, not so. so quite. And then on uh, Sunday, uh, things were looking good. Yeah, yeah, Darvish pitch on Sunday. Things were looking good when I think Yelich, I think, hit a home run uh, to start the game. Uh, but Cubs came roaring back, and they won 2-7. to seven. Yep, there you go. So the sweep, the full sweep. Check. Yeah, and then the Cardinals lost both games in Oakland, so then the Cubs are back in first place. Yep, so, so we'll Chicago's see. in first place as we speak. But, uh, Cardinals one and a half game back. Brewers four games yeah, back. But the Cubs got to go on the road for 10 games, and uh, – Yikes! They got to do better. Brewers two Please. games out of the wild card. I mean, obviously it's early right now. Yeah, but uh, yeah, not looking good. Um, as we see right now, Oakland is uh, beating the Cubs two one. Yeah, and uh, I don't even think Oakland's in the playoffs, right? Well, maybe they're Brewers. second wild card. They, the American League is really good, really good. The really West, good. the West Give is uh, pretty good. Yeah, oh, and West Cleveland's is. red hot, and then uh, Tampa Bay is good. There you go. Boston's not good. All right. There's just some men. Man, no, man up, Gene. Support your team. Yeah. Thick and thin I, I do. James I do. Mason. I do, Jim. I come back every Jim day. Mason. I do. I come back every day. It's just after they lose, and they've it's so many heartbreaking losses, and I go, oh, and it keeps me up at night, and then the next day, it takes me a little while. <laughs> I go, I'm Gene, glad it's a night game, so Gene, I can get back at it. You're letting Cubs uh, losses keep you up at night, and you're I, your well, age? Well, I'm telling you, it's, it, I, I thought when they won, hey, when you win the World Series, you want to win more. That, there's no, like, one and done. No. What, what's your favorite championship? The next one. There, the next exactly. one. Exactly. Yep. And be like that. We're only, okay, Yankees have 27 World Series, and the Cubs have three. So we have to get on quite a run to catch up, but yeah. Well, it, the Yankees it, seem like they're screwed too. So I, uh, I listen. I'm all. I I I said time and say uh, in October to go see the Cubs play wherever they are in the World Series. So I'm I'm ready. I'm just. It just it gets me down when they lose. God, and I'll they keep what. losing. They lose all those games in the eighth inning. It it it. it, it 
It's beat down a better man than me. Well, Gina, at least okay. you're not an A's fan, and you see these yeah. games, and they're showing you all these highlights of the Bash Brothers and Ricky Henderson mm. and all that. Man, those that team should have won like four World Series back in the day. Oh my gosh, they Tony won Lusso. one. Yeah, one. Tony one time. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, they were playing against another team that had money on themselves. So, yeah. uh, you know, what can you do? So, oh. All right, and Tony Larusa. I mean, he was you know drunk half those games. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, I'm gonna take your word for it on that one. I, I'm glad he never managed to come. See, I, uh, I don't, I don't go for. You style. hate yourself? No. Hate the team? You probably would have won. I like... love Joe Madden, so I'm gonna be sad if if he gets shown the door, which apparently is possible. So. Probably would have won like five World Series in the '80s if he would have, uh, you know, not the '80s but the '90s, you know, yeah. just like the Cardinals did. But all right, uh, all right, um, all right. So, so th- I'm very optimistic. We right, just got to go. keep. We got to w- be better on the road. That's all. This can be a great week. Ten. 10 game road trip. I say they'll win uh, seven. Okay. Oh, yeah, I know. Yankees, Yankees. The American League is, I'll just say this the American League, very good. Very good. I know. Well, I know. Gene, it, yeah. uh, it all comes down to pitching. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. So let's, uh, the trade deadline uh, passed and went. Okay. This is the and big one. I, Gene, I've heard that uh, you can still make trades in August. Is this true? Or are no. these like waivers? Well, if, or? if somebody get put on waivers, uh, the Cubs did that with, you could have Daniel Descalso. He's all yours because he got DFA'd. So if someone got put on waivers, that you can. Or if they're not on your 40-man roster, I think you can trade them. If they're in the so minor what, leagues. And do you have to give another team something for picking that team up? Like you get a draft yeah, pick or something? Yeah, I think you have to pay... I don't know. No, if you wait, if you if you release somebody, they're on waivers. So then I think you got to pick up their contract, though, yeah, right? Or something. I think so. But anyway, yeah, the they, Cubs, these soft trade caps. You know, I know. this is just bullshit. Well, the Cubs picked up a catcher uh, last month, and then uh, then 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 they because uh, uh, Wilson Contreras was hurt, and then as soon as you got Wilson Maldonado, Contreras, right? Or yeah, Maldonado, of, or who, get rid of who, him. who 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 caught for the Houston, and they love him. And then yeah, he, when, caught, he caught part of a no hitter. Yeah, then Contreras came back and they said, "Oh, well, we'll just let Houston have Maldonado back." Ah, uh, a little too yeah, fast. Contreras there. got hurt, right? Yeah, he's out for a month. What so. what happened? He like uh, hammy. Oh, hamstring. I've never had a hamstring <laughs> problem, but it sounds painful. You, you ever see? Okay, you're a catcher. Maybe not run that fast. Huh? I know. He he. It happened uh, two years ago. Same thing. And he was out a month. So Maybe ease up on the run. running. And by the way, Jason Hayward hit like three home runs leading yeah, off this weekend. Yeah, he's been pretty good. He, like, they put the him hell? in the leadoff spot. Pretty awesome. Oof, man. The, yeah. they, they took him out the leadoff spot last year because he sucked, right? What, yeah, what, he, what happened he's, to that? A, he's having his first good year. So all right. That's good. So all right. Again, anyway. None uh, of these big trades yeah, really happen. Yeah, they're all minor except for Grinky, But um, Well, yeah, Grinky goes to Houston. That's probably the biggest one. Um, it was a three. Was it a three-game trade with uh, yeah, Cincinnati? Yeah. 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 So yeah. Cincinnati got rid of Puig. I think we all kind of knew Puig right, was not right, going right, to stay right, in Cincinnati right. yeah. forever. Yeah. And that, Puig goes to uh, Cleveland. Trevor Bauer goes to uh, Cincinnati, right? <laughs> yep. Cincinnati. Yep. 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 And then and uh, mouse. whatever. Yep. Okay. And this is literally minutes after or during a huge brawl. Yeah, between the Pirates on the Reds, and then and then it's welcome to Cleveland, Puig. You're suspended for three games. <laughs> Cleveland, like thanks a lot, Reds. Puig must uh, like the 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 ownership of the Reds knew Puig had been traded. He yeah, it was like literally left five minutes. Game. Yeah, and he yeah. got into a fight. And then he got suspended. All right, well, we shouldn't say he got into a fight. He uh, was part of a fracas. And uh, if you actually mm-hmm. there's actually a really good breakdown by uh, John Boy Media. Yeah, he uh, does a breakdown, pretty funny, and uh, basically the Pirates and the Reds were doing a whack-a-mole, hitting each other because uh, there's some bad blood mm. going on, and then Puig uh, was all into it and uh, started talking shit to his teammates who were uh, being little pussies. Uh oh. And uh, wow. yeah, but Puig's a, he he's trouble. I've seen enough <laughs> of him to say no thanks. Yeah, how many times do you need to uh, help your homie out before you're like, uh, yeah, Puig, why are you fighting all the time? Dodgers and like, Juan, Dodgers and Juan, no part of him. And look, he's only been in Cincinnati, not even a full year. Uh, goodbye, Puig. Yeah. So it's like, uh, uh, yes, yo, we're we're, we're yeah. millionaires. All right, yeah. we don't have to fight. Yeah, we don't have to do that. And then another one, Scooter Jeanette. 
Oh, the guy that hit all those home runs in one game? Yeah. Wait, didn't he do something crazy? Uh, he's, he's, he has such a sweet swing. He used to be a former Brewer. Yeah. He had a breakout year with the Reds last year. Um, injured a lot of the time this year. But he got traded to the Giants. Mm. Uh, so good luck to you, Scooter. Oh, I didn't even know that. And uh, the, the Brewers were in the trade game as well. They traded Jesus Aguilar yes. to the Rays uh, for some pitching help. F- Faria? F- mm. Faria? Yeah. Ace. A household name, right? Ace? I guess? Mm. Probably not. And they also mm. got uh, Lyles, who yeah. is uh, pitching actually right now. So, well, it's changed because teams, the Cubs farm system is terrible. So they don't want to give up any guy. Nobody wants to give up their top prospect because they either, yeah, that's the future. Pitching was uh, pretty expensive, apparently, Mm. uh, this trade deadline. And, uh, yeah, you know, Jesus Aguilar, he wasn't really having a great year this year, but apparently he was a uh, big presence in the locker room. And uh, you know what? I think – that may uh, explain kind of the uh, the Brewers slide because uh, maybe you know when you lose a good you know gregarious big guy like that who's like kind of like the gel of the team, uh, you know it's just these are human beings, right? right? right I mean, right. so who knows if the mood in the uh, locker yeah. room is a little yeah. tough. Okay. So, all right. Uh, so and then Gene, any uh, other trades you want? No. Yeah, but Gene. God, Houston Sam gets Decker cranky. The the Diamondbacks yeah, are only one game behind uh, on first place, or I guess maybe second place, a wild card, something like that, and they gave up Granky. Ah, oh, that's crazy. So uh, yeah, well, I mean, it shows you they don't have. They, I don't know contract. Grank, Grank, Granky says Houston's the best team he's ever played for. Hey hey, uh, Zach, hello. Oh, he played for the Brewers. 2011 Brewers. Hello, Prince Fielder. Didn't Ryan they win Braun. the division? They won the division. Hello. Hmm. They lost to. Uh, Cardinals, I believe that year, right? Yeah, that is that the oh, I don't in know. In the NLCS? Is, yeah, it could be. I'm not sure. Thanks, Zach. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Well, Houston's good, but that who knows? They, they better hope you, you, you don't have to face the Cubs. You got these 30 you, know, you just need a bunch of 35-year-old pitchers, I guess, or yeah. something like that. Yeah. So. Mm. All right. There you go. That's the uh the big trade. Yeah. Remember? And then, all right, I, I didn't want to, like, have a whole – badger I don't want to have a whole section for uh, Sam Decker here and for basketball, but uh, another Wisconsinite, Sam Decker. Gosh, those guys didn't pan out. Him <laughs> and uh, – who's the other guy, that tall guy? Uh, f- uh, Frank the Tank? Yeah, Kaminsky? Frank the Tank. He, they both Has he done anything? Well, <laughs> no. Skinny white guys uh, from Wisconsin. I mean, who's But they, that shocked. was a great team, but nobody's really yeah, done – Yeah, it's a college team. Know. Yeah, I know. Um. Yeah. I don't. I mean, hey, at least they got NBA contracts, right? Yeah, I mean, they got their millionaires so. down, right, I suppose. Well, well, there you go. I Sam, take it all back. Sam Decker is set to sign a lucrative deal with the Russian basketball team Lokomotiv Kuban. Uh. Uh, announce someone. Russian team, Gene. Not, uh-huh. not even Greece. Not even going to, uh, you know, Italy yeah. or anything. Right, or right, Spain. Right. Yeah. Russia. The wow. Russian League. How the mighty have fallen. Is that minus that A, thing. double A, minus triple A? I, I, um, I don't know. I don't know. But you know you, you know who's a big fan, though, Gene? Who? Donald Trump. All right. There you go. Oh, he's been very busy. He's had <laughs> very busy Christ. few days. Freaking uh, 20 people get massacred, and you're going to attend a wedding? Yeah. All right. Listen, we don't need to get political on this show. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, yeah. Okay. In Dayton, I've been to Dayton. Dayton's a great, I don't know, all these towns. I was in El Paso. Yeah, man. Gene, you cannot go anywhere, I know. apparently, I these know. days. I know. And if you do, you make sure you have yeah. your uh, Glock uh, yeah. ready at the go. Mm. All right, so, Gene, we're going to talk about something more positive, like uh, Brandon Marshall's career. Is he? He's yeah. getting a trial. Well, uh, Marshall isn't throwing in the tall. Former Bears, by the way. Brandon Marshall isn't throwing Terrible in the tall under- yet. Uh, on his playing days just yet. Yeah. And I'm Schefter of ESPN reports that the veteran is working out for the Colts on Friday. And this is past Friday. Yeah, that means uh, if he if the Colts sign him, they won't go to the playoffs. He's never p- been in the playoffs. His long career. Never, well, never hey, been hey in Gene, the playoffs. he 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 played the same years as uh, Marvin Harrison, right? So uh, that must have got him the interview. All right. Mm, He's yeah. probably met Marvin Harrison. Yeah. You gotta imagine, right? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Gene, uh, Brandon Marshall trying out for the Colts. Uh, what year is it, Gene? The 2012? 
Because last time I checked, it's 2019. I can't believe it. I mean, he didn't play. Uh, he was on Seattle last year, and they cut him. Then someone else cut I don't know. I don't know. Does he still have his uh, today in the NFL job? Is he still commuting so. to New York every single? Yeah, I. That was a big thing with the Bears. Oh yeah, and then the Bears. He, it didn't go well. It ended very poorly. Oh, as most Bears, it was that was a rough time, rough patch. So well, Gene, when you're worried about your uh, opening monologue as opposed to uh, right. third down and twelve, things uh, things don't go well. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. All right. And um, did I have another joke here? Oh. Okay, no, not really. Okay. All right. And then uh, Gene, uh, former Bears. A lot of Bears news. He was this great. Former- he, 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 was, uh, he was on Jim Harbaugh's staff before he came to the Bears. Yep. Former uh, Vic Fangio, defensive coordinator for the Bears. He's now a coach for the Broncos. And uh, we hear now that he is passing a kidney stone. That I please, if if... Um, if I can ask, if Aladdin gives me three wishes, uh, one of them, please, I don't get kidney stones. Oh, God. Jesus Although that's Christ. not official yet. I don't want to waste money. How do you even get to kidney stones? I don't know, but they, it doesn't sound good. You literally pass it through your 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 dick, right? I mean, a little stone goes through know. your dick. Yeah, I guess so. That's, Jesus that's the Christ. deal. That's the deal. That's the deal. Hey, mm. ladies, uh, you know, all this bitching mm. about shaving your hey, legs and no. and. and being pregnant and all this stuff. Women are very special. We how about those? How about these goddamn kidney stones, huh? Yeah, Vic's a tough guy, though. Hey, Gene, you, you hear about women talking about passing a baby, right? Baby's head through their vaginas. Yeah. Size of a watermelon uh-huh. through the size uh-huh. of a peach. Yeah. Hey, how about these goddamn little pebbles I come coming out I of her dicks? Huh? I, yeah, it's hard to think about, and uh, hopefully, I never have to. Uh, uh, okay, I've gotten this far in life without having them. So. Yeah. Well, don't don't manifest it. If you think right. about it too much, it's going to manifest, right? Right. right. All right. And, uh, yeah, so Vic Fangio, um, he did something really cute. He named his kidney stone. Ca- called it Mitch. Oh. Did he? <laughs> oh, Mitch Trubisky? Yeah. Oh. oh, okay. Hey, the Bears play this but, but week. Has the same quarterback rating, by the yeah. way. Yeah. He okay. said, I guess it, camp hasn't been great for him so far, but we'll see. <laughs> I don't know. Well, he's more like a game-time quarterback, right? Right. He, I guess so. <laughs> Although it wasn't, yeah, he was okay last year. We'll see. He's like the opposite of Jeff Gannon, who always had great practices, right. but then when you actually put Rich him in the Gannon. game, Rich Gannon, yeah, yeah, there you go. No, no, no. Oh, Jeff George, I'm thinking of. Oh, Jeff George. Yeah, big arm. Yeah, Jeff George. Remember, he always had great practices, but then never panned out when he actually played. Yeah. All right, Gene, we're going to move over. We're going to stay in the AFC West. Oh. And, uh,. Remember when uh, you were really good and they named cereal after you? Yes, you were in I the do. Wheaties box. I uh, I absolutely do not. I the the closest I ever got to that, we were on a billboard. I was on a billboard once, and we're on a Target card. But oh, no. Jesus Christ! <laughs> uh, yeah. Would you like to pay cash or credit? I'm going to use my Gene card. Well, <laughs> so if they had like a special Fruit Loom card. Uh, I don't know. And then they had a son of Billboard, too. You know, they, like, let you choose, like, all the gift cards and all the, uh, you know. Oh, yeah, give me that Fruit of a Loom card. I love underwear. I love it. It was a promotion of some type. (laughs) I don't know. I wasn't responding. I didn't do marketing. Gee, maybe that's why you got fired. The card got so bad. The card never sold anything. We we got phased out. We (laughs) got fired. That's what they call in the biz, uh, yeah. firing Gene and normal oh, okay. civilian life, Gene. That's yeah. It. Hey, we love you guys. Thanks for twelve years. Uh, we're gonna try something different now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this whole card thing. When you guys in the card, those are the last draw. Those. Are yeah. Last. Okay. Now, all right. Um, all right. So the cereal Mahomes Magic Crunch started selling this week at Kansas City area stores. Although he hasn't tasted it yet, Mahomes. Oh, so he put his personal uh, spin on this thing. I'm glad he put his name on it, but he's never actually tasted the goddamn cereal. There you go. That's a smart spokesperson. Though he hasn't tasted it yet, Mahomes said he's excited for it. And noted sales help out his foundation. So there you go. That's good. Yeah. Uh, apparently, unopened boxes of the cereal are going for $33 on eBay hmm. currently. Hmm. So there you go. That's cool. Patrick Mahomes got his own cereal. He deserves it. Has Aaron Rodgers he- been on the He's got to be Health food. Sugary right. health food. Yeah. That's good. I didn't even know. I It's been so long. I just eat cereal every night, but cornflakes, that was all we could go for. But, yeah. It's just carbs. Yeah. It's just carbs and sugar, and then the milk is just carbs, right. too. Awesome. Yeah. 
Uh, good when you're a uh, little kid trying to gain uh, muscle mass, but uh, not muscle mass, but uh, you know, weight, but not uh, not good for an adult who uh, is getting too much carbs already. Uh, Gene, so Mahomes uh, Magic Crunch. Um, there's another cereal out there. Mm-hmm. It's uh, it's a cereal for uh, Nathan Peterman. Oh, and uh, it's cereal that it comes in a bag and it sits on the bottom shelf. So, uh, Gene, did your did your mom ever buy that bag of cereal on the bottom shelf without uh, without the box and without the? Yeah, we used to have the, they they used to have uh, what was those Cheerios in the big bag. So they're generic. The Cheerios. generic Cheerios, yeah. Yeah, we used to have those. And you felt really bad. You felt like we you, never you got were poor. good. Yeah, we never got the Cheerios. No, Even though it's the exact same product, right, right, but it's just right. uh, a different box. Yeah. The trick is to buy that crap and then just put it in the uh, old boxes. That's yeah. why. That's how you do it. All right, there you go. That's a parenting tip. Yeah. Well, for thank free. you. That one's between for free. Us, no kids between us, but we have parenting Yeah, tips. We, got, we got plenty of opinions. Yeah. All right, and then Gene. Uh, that was awesome. More Baker p- Mayfield. I really like the guy. I'm all in on Cleveland. Just because it's a great city. I think, and their fans are so passionate. I well, Baker Mayfield sh- was f- seen shotgunning a beer. Did you see it? It was pretty in cool. In Cleveland. I have not yeah. actually watched the video. I'm a little bit behind on he this. Bit, he he didn't. You know, you punch, usually you, I think you punch a hole in the beer can with a key or something. He just bit a hole in the beer can. Wow. Yeah. Sooner Boomer. His Sooner Boomer days, right? Yeah. I, I don't know if the coach is like, oh, boy, what are we doing <laughs> here? You gotta love, uh, you know, these these athletes uh, in, <laughs> promoting binge drinking. There yeah, we go. Yeah. Um. And, and not only that, Gene. Unlike Aaron Rodgers, who could not get the uh, Bucks a win, the Cleveland Indians uh, had a five-run rally that same inning. Very good. The Indians are great, and is is so cool. That's how you endear yourself to a fan base. Uh, Baker Mayfield. Yeah, binge uh, drink <laughs> and uh, root for their shitty sports team that you don't even care about because you're from Texas. He ca- hey, he's winning. Or Indiana. I, it's great, though. He's at the game. That's when, when I was at Game 7 of the World Series against Cleveland, LeBron was there supporting him. Was he shotgunning a, a, a mole or mo- I, Merlot? I, I think J.R. Smith, he was there as well. They were both <laughs> in the press box. Or they had a suite. And one of them probably was. Yeah. He he left early because he thought the game was over, right? Oh my god! Oh my god! So well, yeah. Gene, I'll tell you what, Gene, it's really easy for these uh, professional athletes to chug these beers because they're rich, and these beers cost fifteen dollars. There's no way I would do that. <laughs> fifteen dollars just down the drain like that? No. Oh, I'm gonna man. let that last for like four yeah. innings at least. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think. I, wow, it's been a long time since I did that. That's for sure. Or uh, the funnel. You ever do the funnel? No, I never. I'm always afraid I'll like choke to death on the I funnel. I did that so once. Never... It was at a USC football game for some reason. I don't. It know. was alcohol, Gene. Yeah, beer. It was just beer. Okay. <laughs> What's that? Alcoholic, alcoholic beverage. Yeah. A long right. time ago. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you mean it wasn't yesterday? No. All right. Yeah. All right. So uh, we're gonna end it here with uh, the, your favorite team sucks. Uh, the Lions. We're gonna read actual letters from That's actual. That's when you almost feel bad Lions for the fans. Lions because they got their coaches. I don't like them. Well, I'll tell you what, Gene. A lot of these letters are mostly funny and all yeah, that stuff right. uh, for most of these teams and self depreciating. But uh, the, I, you know, I, maybe I'm getting older, and maybe the segment has just been go- going, or you know, these stories have just been going on for so long that it's right. hard to find anything creative and new and all that stuff. But uh, or maybe it's just the Lions fans. Yeah. Because yeah, none, I wasn't really impressed with any of these letters. So oh, okay. uh, don't don't shoot the messenger here. Right. These are from Lions. Uh, Lions fans' letters are pretty much like their team, kind of uh, washed up. All right. So Jeff is uh, Javi Baez. Is anyone on base right now? No, nope. uh, so he's got a. Let me guess. Strike oh, out or home goes. run? He so the Cubs. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Javi Baez just tied the game and, up. Uh, Javi's home run to everybody. Who's uh who's pitching? Is that? I don't know the A's. The Hendricks <laughs> pitching for the Cubs. Okay. I don't know the A's that well. I watched him yesterday. Okay, what did he well, say? Well, Jenny, you're watching the game oh, more yeah. than the goddamn no, show. I'm, I'm uh, no, I'm I'm all in on you. Is it Bader? H- Javier Baden? Does he still play for the? Uh, who is this? Uh, no, uh, the yeah, A's pitch out. Number thirty. Okay, who do you got? Uh, they say? All right, Jeff. Jeff says uh, these are actual letters from yeah, actual uh, Detroit fans. Man, you want to talk about beat up fan base? That that's their way up there. So, yep. All right, uh, Jeff says, 
the last pro football team from Michigan to play for a championship was the fucking USFL. Mm. Did not know that. I didn't know. Uh, no wonder it was so sad to see the USFL uh, right, right. fold because the yeah. what was the uh, USFL team for the uh, Michigan? Do you know? Oh, it wasn't like uh, the Rapid City fucking River Kings. Oh, I don't know. I was something just thinking stupid like that, that. LA, LA was the LA Express. I'm not sure. I know Steve Young had a big contract. Donald Trump owned the New Jersey Generals. I'm yeah, not yeah, sure what the they New were. New Jersey uh, 747s or something yeah, probably like that. He owned a team, but yeah. all right, Andy. Yes. Andy says my dad will turn 60 this September. This garbage franchise has won one playoff game mm-hmm. in that time. 60 years, one playoff game. Yeah. Hey, listen, uh, as a former suffering f- lifetime fan, you got to hang in there. And, and, Get, and when it when it, when it it pays off, then it'll all be worth it. It will all be worth well, it. You, might, it just might not happen in your lifetime. I mean, your dad will be dead by the time yeah, it happens. Exactly but uh, don't right. worry. Bassett. Yeah. Bassett is the uh, right. pitcher for the A's. All right. All right. Uh, Jack. How's Jack doing? Here is your yearly reminder that the Detroit Lions have literally never won the NFC North division, ever. Mm. Now, one single time, and prior to it becoming the NFC North, the fucking Tampa Bay Buccaneers won this division more recently than the Lions. Mm. God, remember when the Buccaneers were the NFL Central? Crazy, huh? Oh, yeah. Remember those mm-hmm. days? Yeah. And, and the, yeah. The, the, the the Atlanta yes, absolutely. was on the NFL, NFL they're West. On the, they're in the West. Yep, yep. Crazy, crazy mm-hmm. times. Not okay. good. Okay, PJ. Well, Houston Astros used to be in the NL Central. Yep. And the Brewers were in the AL Central. Yep. That's and that was like the, that was not, that was Bud Selig's uh, biggest accomplishment is getting the Brewers to the National League. So, yeah. do you think the Brewers? I don't think the Brewers would be as good as they are right now if they're still in the American. No one would care, right? Yeah, it'd be tough unless they're in the American League. Central. God, oh. who'd want to watch? Wants to watch fucking White Sox, the Indians, uh, who else? Yeah. Kansas City. No, nah, give me the Cubs. Give me the I mean, Cardinals. It's great, you got Cubs. Give and me the Cardinals. Pirates. Those are good rivalries. Yeah, they're yeah. fun. They're fun teams. Yeah, yeah. good decision by Buck. Great fan bases. I mean, Cardinals. Great. Uh, okay. I'll yeah, see. I don't see okay, a lot good. of uh, White Sox fans coming up north <laughs> to uh, Milwaukee to watch no. the series, right? Yeah. So, all right, PJ. PJ says the Fords don't give a shit about winning nor about putting good transmissions in new cars anymore, apparently. So I, Fords have tra- – because a lot of people are talking about transmissions, so Fords oh, have, okay. have been having transmission problems, Gene. Have you? I'm, I'm going to take your word for it. Or I'll take Drew McGarry's word for it or the, well, the, the guy that wrote the yeah. thing, Joe. Okay, Ryan – well, that was PJ. PJ. But uh, Ryan PJ. says – Matt Stafford gets paid the GDP of a small island nation that gets sacked infinity times per year and star in shitty F-150 commercials. Mm. Pretty good gig. Pretty, and he's got a hot wife. Pretty good. Oh, but she just had brain cancer, right? So got yeah. got to trade. Yeah, he's got brain. Her, her, she's got brain cancer, though, Ryan. So lay off, huh? Yeah, lay off, Ryan. Freaking asshole mm. Lions fans. Mm. All right, Tim. Tim says, uh, when I proposed to my now wife, now quote wife, Oh, her only condition was that she her only when I proposed to my now wife, her only condition was that she wouldn't have to cheer for the Lions. Wow. That's rough. Yep. That's rough. smart girl. Yeah. Smart. Girl. Yeah. 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 All right. Josh says uh, Matthew Stafford is the best QB we've ever had, but hasn't won a single playoff game. Here's a list of uh, guys who have won playoff games this decade, including. <laughs> this is bad. Wow. Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow. Mark Sanchez. Case Keenum. Blake Bortles. TJ Yates. Gene, all those quarterbacks have won a playoff game. Wow. This decade. Not not Matt Stafford. I thought Matt's oh, I, I they, see you would add me on that one. I know they've only won one playoff game in six years, but I thought okay. No, it's That's like it's good. like twelve years, right? Isn't it? One, one it's like playoff. twenty years, isn't it? But when's the last time they've only won one playoff? game in 60 years didn't that one reader say that his dad? yeah but it was like it was that barry sanders oh, okay. team wasn't yeah yeah it was so, like way back in the so 80s Matt and stafford's 90s. never won a playoff game yeah i think wow, so yeah that's depressing uh liam says uh matt patricia looks like a high school assistant coach that teaches history by screening remember the titans every time he's hung over mm. i can buy that yeah uh jamie says they're too pathetic to be tragic Um, David says, deep down, this fan base knows it deserves everything it gets. 
So yeah, these, these letters are bad. These letters yeah. are just, they're, they're not that's really, a, they're not that's, funny. That when you, when it gets like this, it's, hey, the funds yeah. end. Yeah, we're, we're just. This is suicidal here. Yeah, it's depressing. Uh, drafting TJ Hawkinson, whether it was like a tight end or something like that. Yeah. They drafted in the first round. Is the equivalent He's of. He's an Iowa guy, by the way. <laughs> Is, uh, is, is drafting him is the equivalent of passing up a free trip to Vegas to drive to your grandma's cabin with no electricity in the UP for a weekend. Mm. Wow, going hard after the UP. Uh, it could be proven that Matthew Stafford was single-handedly behind the poisoning of the Flint water supply, and Lions fans would still deflect the blame. Wow. Yikes. All right, Aaron says, uh, This year, as I resume watching the Lions' perpetual trudge to mediocrity, I cannot even curse Matt Millen along the way. With him recently deceased slash near death, depending on when this publishes and if he gets a heart transplant. Now, this is written before the heart transplant. Oh. I have to consider the fact that Millen is an actual human being with feelings and family who care about him. Also, my fantasy name has been Die Matt Millen for a decade. Wow. So I probably have should I probably have to change that now. Thanks, Lions. Mm. And then there's an addendum, there's an update. What's that you say? Heart transplants are successful? Okay, then. Fantasy team changed back to die Matt Millen. Mm. So there you go. Didn't take long. And uh, Matt, another Matt. Was this another Matt? How many Matts we got? How many Matts in freaking Illinois or Michigan? Matt ends it with uh, fuck the lines with Matt Patricia's pencil. That's true. I mean, every everyone has noted that this guy has a pencil behind his ear, but yeah. he, he's he's looking at a laminated playbook. I don't think he can even ask him about it because then he'll just berate you in the press yeah. room. It's like, have you ever coached an NFL team? Yeah, sit up. Have you Any ever schemed? Other, yeah. Have you ever schemed against a defense? Mm. By the way, uh, we forgot to mention it, but we do have the uh, Detroit, uh, what do you call it? Detroit skyline behind us. Oh, that's it. The wow. uh, evening skyline. So there you go. I've not been in Detroit for quite a while, but it's good for them. I've never been to Detroit, I yeah. uh, but apparently it's on the rise again. Yeah, trying. They got Kid Rock, and they have Michael Moore. Oh God! And then they, oh, Michael oh, Moore, Michael Moore, and Kid Rock. Kid Rock's a big. He's he's loyal to Detroit. Oh, Bob Seger, fantastic. <laughs> they have him. Kid Rock. Yeah. I mean, uh, Gene, what about Motown? Huh? How about Quincy oh, yeah, Jones? Have, yeah. Okay, Motown. That's really big. Yeah. How about that? Yeah, I'd rather let's let's forget about the Kid Rock part and let's uh, bring back Quincy Jones yeah. and the Supremes and all these other folks. Yeah, huh? how about that? Very Gordy. All right, Gene, that is yeah. the uh, that's the show. All right, you know, pretty much uh, fly by your pants, but I think we uh, put on a good. There you go. Show and uh, if you haven't, my mom's gonna go see Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I saw it. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Did you see it? Yes, I saw it at the Cinerama Dome, which was in the movie. And did everyone oh, cheer so cool. when they showed it? Well, I mean, it's a Hollywood crowd. I don't know. <laughs> and you went like at uh, one o'clock, 11 so. a.m. Yeah. 70, but it's 70 mil- and, and they had that because the movie that was playing during the, from 1969, they had that poster up outside some some Japanese film or something. I don't know. It's like Godzilla attacks the world <laughs> like that. So like how was it like three hours? Yeah, typical three, three hours, almost. Which by the way, I'm not. I'm okay with that. I mean, yeah. you, you want these uh, Quentin Tarantino films to like last. Yeah, but, I and mean, I'm proud of my mom going to see it. I mean, would you say it's like good? Yes. Oh yeah, I'm gonna like, see like it again. Glorious Bastards, good. Mm, I don't know. I got. I it takes more time to say that. And Glorious Bastards is really good. Yeah. Yeah, it's a classic. Now that I look back, oh my gosh. It's so yeah, it's good. pretty pretty well done. But Brad Pitt and Leonardo, mm, jeez. Was great. Yeah, yeah. Any boobies, Gene? Were there boobies in the movie? Uh, I don't. Because they go to the Playboy Mansion at one point. Oh right? yeah, they. I think they do. They do go to the Playboy Mansion, but yeah, okay. I'm not. Uh, I guess so. Probably. I was. I was more focused on the story. Gene, what do you call a uh, quarter pounder with cheese mm. in uh, 1969? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, El Royale something. <laughs> El Royale with cheese. Yeah. All right. Well, Gene, I think that's it. All right. I think we're gonna end it right there. What a show! Fantastic. I think we learned a lot. We're gonna keep yeah. uh, the your team, favorite team, sucks uh, rolling, and uh, that should be uh, entertaining for the next couple of weeks. Thanks for uh, staying with us, and thanks for watching. By the way, you can watch us every Monday on Facebook, on Gene's Facebook. Just 
probably sometime around, well, for the Midwest, it's around 7 to uh, 8. I'm sorry, mm-hmm. 7 to, yeah, 7 to 8, right? Yeah. Around that time. And then uh, I always upload the recording to uh, YouTube. So if you want to uh, watch that show on YouTube and you don't want to give Facebook your access, you can always uh, do that. And then, of course, we have the podcast uh, every week that I upload so uh, on iTunes. So check it out. So we're three, three triple threat. Triple threat. Triple threat. Yeah. All right. So for Gene Steichen, let me get the music going. So for Gene Steichen, my name is Chris Dotz. It's been the Midwest Sports Show. And we'll see you guys next week. <laughs>